What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Morgan. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to be showing you guys how I pack my orders and like my packaging and stuff like that for um, Mayhem Swim. Even though this is our farewell and we're moving over to the new brand, this is still how I pack my orders and this is how I'm going to continue to pack my orders for the new brand just with obvious, you know, different packaging. So I'm going to show you my things if you like it then you can use this for your brand as well. Um, these are, it's like promotional stuff that I'm really into and it's really valuable for my brand. So um, I feel like the packaging part of your brand really tells a story and it also helps create an environment for your customers to always feed off of. So if you have really good packaging, usually your customers feel a little bit more special or a lot more special about ordering with you because one you took the time out to have branded packaging and two um, it's like a gift it's like as soon as you receive it in the mail you're like oh my god this is amazing right like even though like for instance like Amazon the packages are just regular brown boxes with your crap in it and you're like oh it's from Amazon but when it's like a small business um, and they put just a little bit more effort towards their packaging it goes a long way. Now, don't break the bank buying packaging or anything like that. Don't be crazy. Don't spend money where you do not need to. You can use standard basic poly mailers and still have the same effect by adding like stickers. You can print out stickers on your home. Um, you can make them on Canva or draw them out and then like send them to your printer on a sticker paper. I've done that before. You can use plain poly mailers like just a plain poly mailer whatever color you want put your logo sticker or your brand sticker or whatever it is you want to put on there so you can have it branded but the idea is to get your packages delivered and have your customer be excited about receiving the package because not only is your stuff in there but the experience of unboxing something is really cool so let's show you uh, let me show you right now my packaging okay so Let's do this. This is a bad angle. I'm going to stop talking to you guys like this. Like, hey. But anyways, let me lift you up for a second. So I'm going to show you one of my boxes. This is, um, this is one of my promo boxes right here. So this was for, uh, when I first designed this, it was for like, um, PR and stuff like that. So it was to give away product in a really nice branded box to um, either models or that I work with on set or to influencers. I didn't send anything to influencers, but it was for that purpose to send out really cool packaging. Right now, I have like, I think like seven, eight of these left. Well, after I pack these orders, I'm only gonna have like five of these left. So I'm sending these out with all the orders until they're gone and you know, it's to get rid of all the extra stuff. I don't wanna have extra stuff flying around if I don't need to. So here's one of the boxes, it's fully branded, like I said. The outside, so this is the front. It says Mayhem Swim, Los Angeles. You can't see the, I don't know if you can see the Los Angeles, kind of. And it has the logo um, on this flap. Let me see if I can turn this light down some. Mm, it's not really helping, but it has mayhemswim.com right there. On this side, it has our Instagram handle, Mayhem Swim. Same thing on the other side. On the back, it has our hashtag, uh, Mayhem Babes. So you can kind of see it. Mayhem Babes. And then when you open, oh, when you open it on the inside, it has our slogan, which is Feel Sexy and Less, because we are a swimmer brand. And the inside is also fully done up with our watercolor. This is our color story. It's like the greens, the blues, like water, like the ocean. So that's our, our, our little box. And then what I do is, instead of putting that box inside of another box and making the package heavier, meaning you have to pay more money for shipping, I use these oversized black poly millers that I actually got for the new brand, uh, Sweet Box Label. So I got these and the box fits perfectly like what do you see that it just fits in there perfectly you can close it all up and it'll be done and ready to ship so that's what the packaging looks like for that and then I have again I go the extra step my customers love it they always write me like oh my god that was so cute how you did this and that and that so I have these watercolor envelopes right here these are the envelopes I got these from um 
What's the name of that store? Not Mike. Was it Michaels? Hobby Lobby. Got these from Hobby Lobby. So these are just a bunch of watercolor envelopes, different ones. These are they're like pink watercolor, purple. I have some blue green ones, just like my box. Um, let me see. Like this, just like the box. And what I got, I got these because I put our um, packing slips inside of here for the customers, like their receipt, so they know exactly what they ordered. I put it inside of here, put that like that, and I put it in the box. And then I also have a few more of these left. Thank God I only have a couple of these left. Um, this right here, which is our mailer, our card, kind of like a postcard. I have this and then on the back I write a thank you note or I usually have them printed and I got rid of all the ones that were already printed so I only have the blank ones left and you just write like a thank you note to your to your customer saying like thank you for shopping with us um for the boutique pieces I put um thank you for shopping our boutique styles you'll probably notice like the tags are not mayhem swim because they're boutique pieces and I'm not going to change the tags on those things so um I have that and then I have these, luckily this is the only ones that are left of these. Um, I have these right here and these are our swim bags. These are so cute and you just, oh wait, you open them up. You have somewhere to put your swimwear inside when you're traveling or you know, if you want to store your swimsuits, I have mine stored in some of these bags just so I know like which style is what. So you can keep this. When I travel, I put like my makeup, my brushes, you know, things like that to separate everything in my bags. But one of these come with every single swimsuit that you order from Mayhem Swim. So if it's a bikini, you have a bikini in here. If it's a swimsuit, you have a swimsuit. If it's a wrap, you'll have a wrap. And they are all in separate bags because it's tacky to put everything in one bag unless you have like two pieces, two or three pieces, but I separate all of mine to different bags, so that's cool. And I got these guys off of, um, I ordered these ones from an uh, independent designer on Etsy. I can't remember, I would have to log in to see the exact name, but you can find these anywhere on Etsy. Just type in um, swimwear, oh, well, well, the rubber band popped. You can just type in swimwear, um, bags like swimwear ziploc bags or branded ziploc bags something like that these are the frosted ones mines aren't completely see-through as you saw so mines are frosted they're not like that clear plastic but when you put this in here you can put wet swimsuits and everything inside of here and this is especially good for people that go on vacation because sometimes you don't have a chance for your swimsuit to dry all the way and then you have to figure out how you're going to get in your um, suitcase without having everything wet and jacked up by the time you land. So you can put it inside of here, close it up, make sure you wring it out obviously, put it in here and it's safe and not wetting anything else in your bag. So I have that, um, what else? Oh, these right here, these little packing papers. I only use these for the boxes. If I wasn't using the boxes, it would just go inside of the swim bag and then it would go inside of a smaller poly mailer, like the white ones that I used to have, a small one that will fit just a single one of these. But for this, I go the extra mile and I'm gonna show you right now. Let me just show you, turn the camera. Well, oh, please don't fall camera. So I take this and then I put some in here. This is so messy, but it's worth it. It's so cute. So I put some in there. I get it all together like that. Right? So it looks like that. And then I'll take, where is it? Uh, oh, here's. So if the swimsuits, see how these are already packed and ready to go, these are already tagged. Like this, I'll just take the swimsuit, set it in there, take the other swimsuit, set it in there. You can fit a lot of swimsuits in this box. So I've had, I think the most that I was able to fit in this box was um, five swimsuits. Um, so I put, or, or three swimsuits and like two wraps or something like that. So this is perfect. And then you'll have your card and, I mean, not the card, the 
packing slip with your order on there. Then you have this right here. And you have a nice, pretty, custom PR package. But right now, everyone's getting one of these until they're gone because I don't need to have them left over. So what I would do is I would close this here. Whoops. I would close this, and these are souvenirs too, like keepsake boxes. You can always keep this and put stuff in at your house, like storage. Take this, and then obviously put it, or no, put it inside of here next. So I would take this box, I would put it inside of here, and then I would grab my scale. Oh, I didn't tell you where I got these cards made, guys. Um, I got these made at Staples. I drew, I had this picture, I did the design and everything on Canva and then I took this to Staples and had them print them out on this size card and they were cheap they were like I got a bunch of them but now I only have a few so this here is the scale I got this from um, Staples as well either state yeah did I yeah I did got this from Staples this was like 40 bucks 50 bucks something like that so I got this one because it's perfect and what after I pack the order I take this and I set it on the scale like this I weigh it, I put the information into the computer, print out the packing slip and the um, barcode for whatever company that I go to and then I stick it on here and that is how I send out my packages. So, hmm. so that might seem like a lot, but it's really not. and. Because the packaging is so pretty and so well thought out, my customers love it. And that's what really makes me happy is when my customers get the package, they send me a DM like, oh my God, the packaging is so cute. Or they'll like write me like a couple of weeks later and be like, girl, I keep my box, I have stuff in it, or my bag, like they'll tell me like the Ziploc bags. Oh my God, it came in handy when I went to this, this, whatever. So it's really good to have really good packaging. Again, you guys, these are all the boxes that I have left there, like over there in the corner. Don't know how well you can see them, but they're over there in the corner. I only have a little bit of inventory left. Very excited about that. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm about to go into my computer and check the orders. I think I have three orders right now to pack. I sent some today earlier when I was out. I have three to pack right now. And um, I'm gonna send those out obviously tomorrow. And then hopefully, the rest of these are gone by tomorrow because everything is $20 off. I mean $20, everything is $20 and under right now. So I'm getting rid of everything that I possibly can before the end of November. So check out mayhemswim.com. Anyways, that's it for this video. That's how I pack my orders. That's how I do the shipping and all those things. Also, to save yourself time, if you are not close to the actual post office, whatever company that you have, I think is USPS, if you're in the, obviously here, you can schedule a pickup, which is something that I also do when I have a bunch of orders if I don't really feel like driving. Ours usually schedules the next day, so they just literally tell, say what time and they pick it up right here at your door. Um, but I live like two, three minutes away from the post office. Sometimes I'm just lazy, so I just drive it down the street. But if you can schedule a pickup, schedule a pickup, and it saves you time because you don't have to leave your house. So, perfect. Anyways, like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Peace.